What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Grab a seat and strap in, because we're about to have some fun. So today I'm going to share with you guys a story about what is probably the worst carousel buying experience ever. And thankfully it didn't happen to me. But before we go any further, if you enjoy my video so far, why not subscribe to my channel? I mean it's real simple, just press the big red button and best of all it's free. I mean you don't have to, but it would be a lot cooler if you did. So this entire story started out with the buyer himself posting a thread on Twitter about his carousel experience. So the guy starts out the thread by saying, So yesterday some guy on carousel thought it would be a good idea to push some buttons. Today I'm meeting him under the disguise of another buyer. Let's see if he keeps that same energy. Update y'all later. And then he added two screenshots there as well. So this particular thread got a lot of attention when it first came out. But let's just see those screenshots in closer detail. So here in blue the buyer says, Hi, any interest in trading for blank as seen in my listing? And then the seller replies, F*** your mom. Okay, what? I don't know what just happened because why did he go straight to a hundred like that? <laughs> but that's not all. He continues and says, Go and die, you son of a bitch. I f***ed your mom last night though. That is your payment. Now hold on. Immediately not a great start, but also I wouldn't want to trade something with a stranger online who is immediately hostile like that. Alright, so in the second screenshot it says, your block further than blank, otherwise can meet at your convenience also, otherwise blank is okay. Okay, thanks. Just pause right there because I'm kind of piecing it together here that the first screenshot was the initial hostile encounter that the buyer had, and this second screenshot is the other encounter where the buyer pretended to be someone else. This seems like a lot of effort because if the seller was just being really hostile, maybe the buyer could have found someone else selling the same item for a trade, but maybe that wasn't the case. Not quite sure. So the next part of the thread is a video that was posted by the buyer himself and it was captioned, no, 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 your mother All right, that escalated quickly. So let's just see how the meetup went down. Really, what is happening now? I have no idea why this turned into another confrontation in public, but it seems like that's the case. So I'm not quite sure what he's trying to get out of this public confrontation at the bus stop because it seemed like the seller himself was holding on to the item that they were willing to trade for. This doesn't seem like it's going to end well. Also, let's not forget that the seller himself was being unnecessarily hostile in the initial conversation. But in this video clip here, the seller himself has no idea who the buyer is and having the buyer just walk right up to him and curse at him as well, he's definitely going to be in for a rude shock. So the buyer followed up this video with another tweet that says, Our friend also offered to give me all the money he had out of fear. Took out his wallet one $5 note. F*** off. Just for some context, when this initial threat went viral, everyone was on the buyer's side and actually, you know, poking fun at how childish and immature the seller was. But now that we can see all this in hindsight, it does seem like the buyer was being a bully as well and really taking things a little too far. And you see what I mean in this next part of the thread where he posts another video about his encounter with the seller. You are very what? King, don't me. I'm very you, sorry. you are very what? I'm very sorry for So what? you f*** whose mother? No, I'm... Now, that is just... That's not right. At least from the buyer's perspective, he seems like he's getting some sort of justice here. But really, at what cost? Because he's taking justice into his own hands when really... The only people who should be meeting out justice like that is SG Secure. The seller himself says, can you don't film me? So he's definitely feeling uncomfortable with the situation. So I'm probably sure it's really disturbing and frightening for this guy to be filmed and cursed at by someone you have never met before. If you never fuck my mother, you fuck whose mother then? No one. Huh? No, I'm very sorry. Yeah, you better be f***ing sorry. I slap you one time here, I tell T bye. Now I'm not quite sure if the buyer really wanted an apology out of the seller because no matter how many times the guy was trying to say sorry while backing away from this entire situation, the buyer himself was still cursing and swearing and making the situation worse. So this buyer went on to make some more clarifications in his Twitter thread. He said, For anyone reading this far, I'd just like to say that I'm not always like this. Anyone who knows me can vouch that I'm a peace-loving gentle person 99% of the time. This person just happened to test the wrong 1%. With that being said, please don't be a warrior online if you can't keep that same energy when you get pulled up on. In fact, he's lucky I was still nice enough not to lay hands. Anyone else might not have given him that same kindness. Did he just say he wanted to beat the seller up? Because that's really taking it too far. So at this point, you're probably thinking, that's the end of the story here because this entire Twitter thread eventually got deleted. But wait, there's more. So sometime later, there were a couple of screenshots that were shared on the SG Follows All Instagram account that shared the seller's side of the story. And it was kind of an apology and also a clarification of what really happened. So let's take a look. <laughs> 
He says, hello everyone, I was the boy in who cursed at the men on the carousel app. Firstly, I would like to apologize for my rude behavior and cursing his mother. The reason I was so aggressive to him was because I have met a lot of weird people in carousel asking me to trade with them, but they end up trading counterfeit items with me. So it was definitely my problem for assuming that this man would do the same as those people. I don't see that as a reason why you should be so aggressive because you being the seller would want to put your products in the best light possible and being aggressive doesn't really help anyone at all. But sure, he apologized. Let's see what else he says. Immediately after I cursed at him, I apologized to him and said that I did not mean what I said. The man said that he understood. So when most of you said that I was a keyboard warrior and a young punk trying to be cool, I feel rather misunderstood by all of you as I told the man I was kidding and did not mean what I said. Furthermore, I was also very polite with messaging him and even offered to meet near his house to sell my Vapor Max and AF ones. Okay, so this is kind of getting into like he said, she said territory here. I'm gonna withhold my judgment until we see what else he has to clarify here. The worst part was when he threatened to upload the videos on social media and forced me to do unpleasant things. Okay. That just took a turn. After all, it was definitely my fault for assuming and cursed at the man, but I do not think that what the man have done was also very bad and have crossed the boundaries. All in all, I wanted to share with the public what had happened. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really not quite sure how this is going to turn out, but apparently this particular seller here did post a couple more screenshots to give more context about what the chat conversation was like. So this screenshot is from the seller's perspective, so all the text in the grey bubbles are probably from the buyer. So he says, Before we meet, yesterday was the last of many, many straws, and it wasn't even your response that did it. It was just the icing on the cake that happened happen to flip the switch. Is he the joker or what? Like, why does he make it sound like he's so unhinged? So I'm sorry stranger that God had crossed our paths today of all days, but if all things happen for a reason, perhaps we can consider this as reckoning for you and release for me. I'm behind you. Okay, I'm just trying to process this and I'm guessing that the buyer actually posted this in the chat with the seller right before you confronted him at the bus stop. That's why he said, I'm behind you. And that is pretty disturbing if you ask me. So the buyer continues to say, let this be a warning to you to talk properly to people next time and show some respect. You can delete your messages all you want. I keep receipts. The seller replies, understand, thank you for the lesson. I will no longer do this again. And then the buyer replies, you want your face on SG follows all? Is that a threat, sir? So the seller says, please forgive me, I'm just a young boy. And the buyer replies, say, I'm sorry, daddy, I won't do this again. And you have my word, I won't post. No, not the word daddy. How? Why? Is this some sort of kink that the buyer has? Maybe I don't want to know. So the buyer then replies, So either tell me what I want or we can go ahead and get famous. Honestly, if you ask me, the buyer seems out of control. So not long after, Carousel actually suspended the seller. But what I'm really interested to know is whether there was any action taken against the buyer as well. Because I don't think he was in any position to take matters into his own hands. But we're probably not going to see that anytime soon. But what we do have is a couple more screenshots from the buyer this time round, who makes a final statement to clarify his side of the story. So the buyer says I posted this confrontation on my own social media and it got more viral than I intended. Say what you want but you cannot go around saying I F your mother to people and expect to get away with sorry I was joking. Okay so we're off to quite a start and nothing about addressing how aggressive he was in those video confrontations and it just seems that like he's trying to be defensive here but let's read on. Could I have toned down on the aggression? Perhaps. But you crossed a line you shouldn't have crossed in the first place. Of course I was angry. I'm not like you I'll not pull your mother into the mix thus twisting your arm with calling me daddy. Not the same but you get the idea. How does that make it any better? Also, we're talking about crossing lines. Where's the line? Because it's been moving up, down, left, right, everywhere. I can't keep track anymore. But you know what? At this point, whatever I say doesn't matter here because it does seem like the situation has died down and there hasn't been any updates at the time of making this video. But really, I'm completely taken aback by how intense a simple carousel experience could be. And this is definitely one of the worst ones I've seen. But I'm not going to end the video on this note because I'm curious to see if other people have had similar experiences on carousel or carol hell if you will. So I went on Instagram to ask you guys and you guys really came through with your stories. So we're just going to go through a couple of them in a speed round. Bargain $1 to 80 cents. When we met, say only got 70 cents. I'm the dumb for going on with it. Meeting someone in person to sell them something for 70 cents? I wouldn't do that. $105 item asked the deal at $80 because his birthday and sent his IC as proof. <laughs> Who said you could do that and get a birthday discount? That's not how it works. After meeting up to sell my item, the person asked me out on a date. That's creepy. Run. Agreed price to sell it for her TV. She asked for a deposit because her kids no diapers. In the end, actually no TV. Um, at no point did I know what was happening in the next sentence. An incredible story. I'm sorry you didn't get a TV. <laughs> Bought The Last of Us PS4, seller sent The Last of Us CD case with a Tony Hawk Pro Skater CD. What? That is fraud. <laughs> a racist seller, haha, <laughs> asking if I'm Malay before answering my question about the product. Uh-uh, no. No, 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 don't pass go. Go straight to jail. 
I once listed a workout top and someone asked me if I could sweat in it and sell it to him. Okay, OnlyFans. Uh-uh. Not like this. Okay, I think we've seen enough stories, but I want to thank you guys again for coming through so quickly with all your Carol Hell experiences. But let's go back to the original story about the daddy buyer and the young punk seller. Now, according to Carousel on their IG story, they posted this clarification here about what you should do if you ever encounter a situation like this. Not happy, no need to go outside settle, just report it. If you encounter anything unpleasant, you can report it or block the user. So it's pretty clear that we should not be taking matters into our own hands like the daddy buyer over here. And if there's anything we can learn from this entire Carol Hell saga, is that we should be a lot more empathetic when we're dealing with strangers on Line and not be so quick to judge or even confront them in public. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what I should react to next. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. YOLO say no no. YOLO YOLO You only live once.